Out comes Sexton in a hurry. North-south of the basket. Missed the shot. Thompson follows and Thompson dunks. You know him as Canadian basketball star and fourth overall pick in the 2011 NBA draft by the Cleveland Cavaliers. At the time, he was the highest drafted Canadian-born player in NBA history. It's Tristan Thompson. Starting out in Brampton, Ontario, Thompson has went on to win one NBA championship with the Cavs. He began dating reality star Khloe Kardashian in September 2016, and the pair welcomed a daughter, True Thompson, in April 2018. Let's go. Good job! Woohoo! Did you make a wish? Now, in these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. The six foot nine big man has a net worth of 35 million as of 2020. That may not be a substantial amount compared to the likes of LeBron James or Steph Curry, but there's no denying that Thompson is rolling in the deep. He's currently earning much more than a majority of other players in the NBA. Just because of the history of how tough it's been, I think when you see a team have success, whether it's the Browns, the Cavs, or the Indians, just support each other. I think it's only right. While most of Thompson's earnings come from his salary from the Cavs, he has secured endorsement deals with the likes of Beats by Dre, Complex, Nike, Moet and Shandon, and Mountain Dew. Brad, you know what I like? He enjoys passing the ball as much as scoring. The second quarter, Thompson takes a lot of the rim, hooks, and scores. All his hard work paid dividends for him in 2015 when he signed a huge extension with the Cavs. Oh, no, it's a great feeling, you know. Uh, you know, they were a family. You know, mm -hmm. we're a family. These are my brothers. Seeing one of your brothers come home and just, you know, just give him a big hug and just, you know, just excited to have him back. This came out to the tune of 82 million for five years. Additionally, he reportedly also pockets 12,000 a month from the Canadian basketball national team. With his big bucks, Tristan Thompson has been able to secure quite the real estate over the years. What's poppin', guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. Now, I noticed 95% of you guys are watching and not subscribed. I need this to change immediately, okay? Hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. In this one, we'll take a look at Tristan Thompson and a few mansions he's called home over the years. If you guys like these videos, please ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Tony Braxton, Howard Stern, and we'll link to more at the end. Follow me on Instagram at that dude McFly. Let me know whose house tour you guys want to see next in the comments down below. And let's get into the video. During the NBA season, Tristan has a nice little pad outside of Cleveland, which has beautiful views of Lake Erie, has more than 6,000 square feet of space, and a perfectly serene outdoor area. The basketball star purchased the extravagant home in 2015 for 1.9 million. The house has five bedrooms, seven bathrooms. The formal living room features a very open and airy concept with amazing views, great for entertaining. The family room comes with an astonishing view and probably a cozy spot to chill with the view of the frozen lake and roaring fire. The decked out kitchen looks like an absolute gem to prepare a feast and a plan a cool party. Not going to lie, the concrete floor is pretty amazing. I'm telling you, the industrial look is like very trendy right now. The abode comes with a sleek bathroom, and while it may not compare to other Cali digs, this place is pretty nice. Tristan's home in LA features four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and 3,600 square feet. The house last sold in 2019 for 6.5 million, and estimated value today is still $6.5 million. The estimated mortgage is 31,000 per month. The listing described as truly spectacular gated new construction south of the boulevard provides the ultimate luxury. The wide entry hallway with ultra high ceilings and checkered marble tile welcome you to the dazzling dining room with brass built-in cabinets and a formal living room with marble fireplace and private patio. European oak wood floors guide you to the sophisticated family room with marble slab fireplace and wooden built-ins. Across is the awe-inspiring kitchen with two black quartz counters, designer appliances, breakfast nook, and all convenience for the gourmet chef. A guest ensuite media room and downstairs laundry room complete the first floor. Take the marble staircase upstairs to the opulent master bedroom with marble fireplace and custom built-ins with wine cooler. The unique design has two separate bathrooms and a walk-in closet on the opposite sides. Both have spa-like marble tile bathrooms, steam shower, and soaking tub in one. The upstairs laundry and three other en-suites with walk-in closets complete the second floor. The backyard is exquisite with marble-like stone patio and deck pool oversized spa, outdoor kitchen with marble counter and black splash with bar counter. Behind the spa, there's a fire pit with built-in seating. What's really dope is a two bedroom and one bathroom pool house with open floor plan, family room and kitchenette. Accordion doors open both walls for indoor and outdoor entertaining. This stunner is walking distance to Ventura shops, dining, and all that Encino has to offer. Though he bought the LA mansion barely a year ago following their it's complicated relationship slash breakup with Khloe Kardashian. He did kiss me. Tristan might love me, whatever that means. He has no respect for me whatsoever. Mama! 
Tristan Thompson was looking to bounce out of his gated mansion in LA. After Chloe's widely reported relationship with social media's Jordan Woods, I know I'm not the reason that Tristan and Chloe are not together. Thompson hung an $8.5 million price tag on the estate, as was first reported by the Daily Mail. That's a big jump above the $6.5 million the 6'9 Canadian originally paid for the extravagant property, though it appears he made a handful of interior customizations during his short tenure. Set well back from the street behind towering trees, the modern farmhouse style structure was built new in 2018 and offers an attached three car garage and a commodious motor court for another half dozen vehicles. The nearly 10,000 square foot manor boasts seven bedrooms and a total of seven and a half bathrooms, including all the the latest extravagant amenities buyers at this premium price point have come to expect. Guests will be amazed by the home's soaring foyer, which offers checkerboard marble floors and a thickly veined marble staircase. Immediately inside lies a glam living room upholstered with a sophisticated black and white color palette and a marble fireplace. Across the hall lies an equally decadent formal living room that's paired with an adjoining wine closet. An Eaton kitchen features two islands and top of the line Wolf Sub-Zero appliances and opens to the family room where there's another marble fireplace, built-in wooden bookshelves, and glassy pocket doors that blur the indoor-outdoor boundary between the house and the resort-style backyard. As well, there's a white subway tile backsplash and a unique gold-accented event over the stainless steel stove. Thompson has slightly modified the home's upstairs master retreat with his own sand-colored custom wallpaper, though the bedroom retains its original light fixtures and marble fireplace. There are also dual master baths and closets, plus six additional bedroom suites throughout the main house. Perhaps Thompson's biggest interior switch-up happened in the estate's movie theater, where this Missing images show he replaced the original gray blue paint with some textured charcoal wallpaper, plus a giant velvet couch that can accommodate every member of the Cavs, or at least all the Kardashian Jenner family. The property's 43 acre lot is packed with outdoor amenities too, including a sleek fire pit, pool, spa, and outdoor kitchen with bar seating. At the far rear of the property is a 1500 square foot guest house with its own columned loggia, two bedrooms, full bathroom, family bedroom, and a second kitchen. The formal dining room also also reimagined by Sagan, features a waterfall chandelier light fixture and eye-catching gold cabinetry. And that's all I got for Tristan Thompson and where he calls home after looking at a few of his properties past and present. What'd you guys think? Be sure to rate his homes in the comments down below. I gotta say, I would hold down that LA pad a while longer. Like that's a serious 11 out of 10 from what I can see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at McFly, and I'll catch you guys next video.